All right, welcome back to Blade District. We have another unboxing today. It's actually pretty sticky here. I just took off the label. I forget wh where this is from. I want to say I think this one is White Mountain Knives. And if it is, we have the PLR 3 in there and two other knives, I think, from Recollection. We're just going to dive into it. Brought out the Elementum originally to open it with, but if the PLR is in there, I figured let me bring that too. Now, if you're looking at this and think this is from a knife, it's not. I know most of the time when you see knife people in videos of band-aids, they say it's, it's from a knife because it usually is, but I'm going to put a photo right here. You see that? That's my five, almost six month old Yorkie. And the other day, we, me and my girlfriend were playing with a dog. Her name's Pretzel. She bit me, right? We're, go, we're playing with toys and stuff and she bit right on the corner on this finger, right where the nail starts on the edge and it kind of split open. She has razor sharp teeth. So I cleaned it out, put it, you know, it kind of, it was deep since it was deep it kind of just like went back together so to say it wasn't extremely deep but the point is i don't want to really put too much pressure on it and accidentally reopen it so hopefully there's not too many flippers in here if they are i might use this part of my finger to open it um maybe this one i haven't really done that maybe lefty i know a lot of folks do lefty i'm not really uh yeah whatever maybe we could do that anyway i do want to talk real quick about this elemental this guy I left out on a, um, what do you call it? Just, I just left it out on a table outside in the house, not covered, not in a drawer or anything. Check out that dust that got built up in there. Now this is on bearings. Usually bearings don't take well to debris. I'm sure the bearings are not the smoothest right now, but I got to say, I'm still really impressed because look at this. It's not like completely drop shutty, but it'll, it'll drop. I don't know. I was still impressed with it. It's not terrible. Eh, maybe I could try. Anyway, I'm gonna have another video where I clean this guy and see how good we can get it. Yeah, you know what? It's actually getting worse now. <laughs> it's probably really getting in there. This guy on washers is smoother and it's not the cleanest either, but this guy's on washers. Ooh, look at that, butter, super smooth. All right, let's get into it. Let's see what's in here. If you haven't already, consider subscribing to the channel. We're gonna be doing some giveaways as the channel grows. It's slowly, ever so slowly growing as I'm finally starting to do more videos. I've been doing, um, you know, for a while I haven't posted much. And more recently, I'm doing a ton. I have an Instagram too that was from an older account that I had that I turned over for Blade District. I'll put that on screen, you can follow that. We're gonna start posting more on Instagram and more on here and do some giveaways on YouTube. So be sure to subscribe if you're interested in knife content. Let's dive into it. I don't know if there's any personal info in here. So um, if it is, I'll block it for a second. Let me see. Ooh, CRKT. Let's see. So the PLR3 is in here. I got two of them. Is this the Cinco? I forgot. I know I bought the Cinco from somebody. Oh my God, I've been waiting for this guy. Now I'm excited. Okay, I forgot. I wanted to get, I think that's it in here. Yeah, okay, okay. This is the import line Silent Soldier. I've always been a fan of it when I saw it years ago when it came out. Even the original before the import line, but I'm like, you know what? I don't want to spend that money on it. So finally they had it in stock again. This is the Silent Soldier import line. Let's take a look at the CRKTs first. It is the Cinco and the PLR3. Let's do the PLR3 first. I've heard so many good things about this. I love black and gold. It's got a brass uh, backspacer. I love the, the Pular original one over here, a little bit smaller. You know what? This is light, lighter than I expected. Don't have a weight with me. This is initial unboxing, and I don't know why or how. Well, why? Probably because it's G10 on one side, but I don't know. This guy almost feels lighter than this. Maybe I'm completely off. Maybe it's just this is smaller so the weight feels more dense. I don't know. I will probably put the weights on screen of what this one is and what this one is because this does feel lighter. It might just be my imagination. I'm gonna go with a sm slow roll first. Let's move all this stuff out of the way. Super unorganized, apologize for that. Let's see. Blade centering looks spot on. We have a semi-deep carry pocket clip that is surprisingly completely recessed into the scale both the clip and the screws so that's really nice super slim i almost want to say is it slimmer than this 
as far as like the profile like this. I don't know. It's going to be hard to say. Again, this is more of like a chunky small one, so that might be why. How about here? Just about the same. All right. I'm excited. Let's see. Because this guy's super smooth. And that's smooth too. See, this one you could actually get a full grip behind without using the troil up here. You could still use the troil. With this one, you kind of need to use it to get a full grip. I got small hands. You still need to use it. Here, here yeah, you ain't doing it. Here's just a quick comparison as far as size goes. Let's get you out of here for now. So as you can see, it's a good amount larger, a very good amount larger, both handle-wise and blade, different shape. You still have the troil there. When closed, let's see. That is smooth. That's really nice. Definitely bigger, but you don't get the deep carry pocket clip with the Pilar 3. You do get it with this guy. Let's try reverse flick. That feels good. And this one I'm assuming, oh wow, is on washers as well. 99% sure if I'm wrong, I'll put that on screen. Ooh, that is smooth. Let's see, it's gonna be weird because I can't hold it too good. Let's see a forward flick with a thumb. Yeah, it works. But when it comes to these knives, I really like the reverse or just a slow roll. I really like slow rolling these. It's actually breaking in already, I'm not gonna lie. It's getting ridiculously smooth. And no blade play. Oh man, I see what people talk about this. The hype is real on this guy, I'm telling you. Look at that beautiful brass backspacer. I really like that. Quick unboxing, like I said, we have black G10 on one side. That is so smooth, that is ridiculous. It's really just smoothing up as I'm using it. I almost feel like there's blade play because of how smooth it is, but there is none. Let's see. Yeah, this is really nice. So that's that one. We're gonna look at the Cinco next, another CRK CRKT. I believe, um, I don't wanna be wrong about it. Who made it? I, f I forget. I don't wanna be wrong about it. Let's open this up. Let me quickly put this on the side for now. All right, so the CRKT Cinco, another budget-friendly folder, flipper, non-assisted. Well, this one's ball bearing, I believe, thanks to IKBS that they use. This one's got a little bit of heft to it for the size, I'll say that. It still feels pretty light, but it's stainless steel with looks like to be G10 kind of inset into the stainless steel. Let's do a little close-up of it for a little, you know. Pocket clip is... Kind of like the Pilar 3 in a sense that it's kind of deep carry, but not really because you still have the lanyard loop extended and you have the screws that are kind of bolstered in on the top. So there's no like pocket clip that loops around to be completely deep, but it's a very small profile of a knife. It doesn't seem too thick. Centering looks pretty spot on. Looks like the entire steel is like a black stone wash type of look to it with like a tan inset scale. Nice and grippy. Let's compare real quick. Where'd it go? I already put it away. This has a good grip to it. It's got a nice grip to it. You could probably hear that. All right, let's, um, ah, this is the one. Okay. You know what? I'm going to use this finger because I want to give it some, I want to try it. It's not going to be as good as it should be because I'm doing it very awkwardly, but let's see how it feels. So that was a really, really slow deployment on my end, but it still came out. That means it's super smooth with the bearings. Let's do it like this. Let's see, maybe I'll give it one, uh, let's see. I'll do it with this side of the finger, let's see. Oh, there you go. This is not as good as a unboxing as it should have been because of my finger. Let's go like this. Rogers, yes. I was going to say like Richard Rogers. I think I have that name right before, but I wasn't positive. I didn't want to get it wrong. So you can see this. Again, that same black stone wash that they kind of have both on the blade and on the liners and everything. Clip. It's a really nice design. Feels really comfortable. It's pretty thin. Feels pretty thin. Again, this is unboxing, so I don't have too many specs on it. I might put some on screen like I do with other ones. 
but it's a quick unboxing of it. Pretty happy with it. It feels good, looks good, rock solid, which is awesome. Yeah. Happy about this one too. So there's this one. Now we're gonna go on to the last one, the Browse Blades Silent Soldier. Browse Blades Silent Soldier, the import line, which basically just means it's like a, some sort of, is like a Zytel, I forget, some sort of plasticky material for, material for the handles. People say this is a weird one to flip from back in the day. I remember seeing reviews on this years ago. We got a card in here. I've had one of his higher end knives. It comes in a pouch, serial number card and everything. All right, let's see. I believe I got, yeah, this should be the stone wash blade. Oh, this is, this has some heft to it. I'll say that right away. It's got some heft to it. Let's see if we can um, take a look at the scales. They almost look like a honeycomb pattern. Very thick. Deep carry pocket clip. This one is pretty, pretty deep. Let's see for thickness comparison, since I have the Elementum here and a lot of folks have this. Let's compare how thick this is. This gonna be kind of crazy. You see that? Wow, that's almost double, it's crazy. This is a chunky one over here. You can see, this is a chunky one. Let's see how it flips. This is where I might have issues. A lot of folks say you gotta do like a push button. I will say it sits really low. I, like I wanna be here right now, but I gotta go down here. So that's a little weird. Cause to do push button down here, that's a little weird. But we're gonna try it with my middle finger. Let's see. Ooh, there it goes. Now I have smaller hands luckily. So I can get three fingers on here and although this one is kind of on the back, it's on like this angled ramp area, which now that I'm feeling it, it is a little sharp in here. It's not the smoothest, it's not sharp to the point where, you know, if it was like metal and it was this sharp, it might be a little bit worse. Luckily you have this huge back space here. It's completely gym, so you're not feeling any of that, like those hot spots from there. Feel it a little bit there, but it's really nothing to worry about. This really fills your hand. It's a little weird, I'm sure, when you're using it. The, you know, you're gonna be putting pressure forward, something's gonna be coming into you. So it's not gonna feel like what I'm feeling. I keep trying to re-grip because I feel like it wants to go forward, like the blade just wants to go like this, but it's not, because you have jumping right there. You have this, you go jumping across the back space here. This, this is solid. Let's look at that stone wash blade up close. And this is, uh, I forget, oh man, is it D2? Oh, the D10 is unfortunately, let's see. Not, yeah. So you got this big tab right there. I'm already squishing my, my little thumb over here. Now I'm past it and it'll fall shut pretty easily. But it is, I wish it was like closer where you can do this and then close it. You see? That's where it is. Can you slow roll it with that hole? If you pinch grip it, but I don't really recommend that. So I'm not into the whole tactical in the sense that like, I'm not 100% sure how you would use this. If it's for like a reverse grip like this, I'm not 100% sure, but I could see holding it in this scenario to a degree, or maybe even just like this. Yeah, this, wow, this is surprisingly comfortable. If you need to really get into something and you need to go pretty hard and tough, but you want a lot of security in the grip, this actually does the trick. Cause like I said, I could fit three on there and there's the three. And then this one goes through here. You got this great jumping up here and then you can slice and pierce and cut whatever you want with like complete control. So I'm really liking this. I do just wish the D10, like I said, right there, I can't close it even though my finger's in the way. I need to really kind of squish the finger and then it closes pretty, pretty smoothly actually, pretty smoothly. So that's the Silent Soldier by Browse Blades, the import line. 
Again, I'll put specs on the screen. I might have done it before as well, as far as price, um, blade steel, size, all that stuff. But I think that's gonna be it for this video. So we have the Browse Blades Silent Soldier. And I already put the other ones away, so I'll probably put a photo on screen of them. Hope you guys enjoy. Subscribe for more. Drop a comment. Let me know what you think about everything. Again, this was just a quick unboxing, little chat about them. We're going to have some giveaways soon, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks a lot. <music>